So, I was about to start recording the next episode, also I, I did it again. Arguably went even better. Uh, oh. Man, you rule, Sheena. What, what are you talking about? Summon spirits, what else? What was it again? You know, all thou and thy stuff? Uh, yeah. That's so cool, making packs with summon spirits. Uh, really? Say, what does it feel like? It feels like a great power, separate from myself, comes surging out from inside my body. I don't really understand, but it's so cool. I wish I was a summoner. Although, I hated being a summoner. Really? Hmm. But, um, I was about to start recording this episode, and all of a sudden, I hear my dog... Downstairs. You're gonna regret this. Uh, uh coughing and hacking like a maniac. And I'm like, what the hell's going on? What's going on with my good boy? And uh, I, I figured he must have. I did have some people over. Um, it is, this is actually being well. It's not Easter anymore, but the day because it's two o'clock in the morning. But the day before today was Easter. And I did have some, some friends and family over, and, uh... I thought maybe he had just accidentally gotten a hold of something, and, and now he was basically, you know, puking all over the place. But I looked everywhere. I, I couldn't find anything, which is a good thing, obviously, but... Yeah, just out of nowhere, he's, like, hacking up a lung. And then he wanted to, he was like looking at the door, like he wanted to go outside, and I was like, yeah, no. Nah, buddy, it's, it's two in the morning. Like, <laughs> it's gotta be a no from me, dog. Okay, might as well grab another rest. Maybe get another skit? Hey! Thank goodness. Sheena, congratulations! Yeah, thanks. It's finally able to put to use what I learned at the Elemental Research Academy. I guess even though you learned it from those horrible people, it's still useful. You still can't forgive them? They did mean things to me. I hate them. You're my only friend, Sheena. Aww. Ah, huh. you helped me, so I'll help you too. Okay, thanks, Corinne. It seems like there's a character like that in a lot of Tales games, to be totally honest with you. There's Corinne and Noish. Uh, I feel like Tales of the Abyss had... Had, um... Was it Minu or something like that? Minu? If we find the unicorn, we might be able to save Clara. Yes, probably. Okay then, let's go. They'll be sad when she learns the truth. Did you say something, Professor? No, it's nothing. Yeah, we're not going to be able to save her. Um, like, Tales of Exilia had Rolo. Uh, there always seems there seems to be a character like that, some sort of pet animal character in a lot of Tales games. Oh hi. I mean, you're just this running into your death. It's just immediate death when it comes, you know, as far as you guys are concerned or should be concerned. So this is why I don't like having Genus in the party for normal combat. He's using stalagmite on normal beetles. I forget just using it. He's spamming it. <laughs>
So this was a bit of a detour, but... Oh, hello. Don't worry. Leave it to me. Demon Oh, overall rest. Oh, excuse me, Rain. And away we go. No, I forget. It always flips over here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. No. This is going to be a piece of cake. <laughs> 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 Let's save a unicorn. Okay, go on, Sheena. Ask your team to take us over there. Wait, that's not going to work. Why? The unicorn can only be approached by a pure maiden. At the very least, Lloyd, Genus, and I are out. He's pretty picky if we only talk to girls. So then just rain and... I'll stay behind. Colette, go by yourself. Hey, are you saying I'm not qualified? Qualified? You don't have to say it all at once. Then we shall send Colette and Sheena. Why can't the professor go? Because I'm an adult. Hmm. Okay then, I'm going to summon now. I call upon the Maiden of the Mist. I summon thee. Come, Udine. Please, Udine, take us to the unicorn. As you wish, to the lake. Martel? You mean the goddess Martel? No, I am Colette, and this is. I'm Sheena. You can tell the Colette is sick. Whoa. Please, save Colette. The Horn of the Unicorn has that kind of power, right? Colette. I was born to become the Chosen of her generation, so it's okay. But there is someone we promised we would cure. I want to keep our promise. Take it. Just ripped its horn off. Oh, bye. What's wrong? No. Are you two all right? Sheena, why are you crying? The unicorn gave us its horn. I see. Then the unicorn is dead. You knew? When a unicorn loses its horn, it dies. By dying, a new unicorn is born. That's why the unicorn is the symbol of death and rebirth. 
Will a, a new unicorn be born? Yes, probably. I hope so. The unicorn gave us this horn at the cost of its life. We should make good use of it. Yeah, Colette. Now we may be able to get you back to normal. Yes, but not now. Why? Because right now I still haven't finished regenerating the world. So let's use this for Pietro and Clara. But Colette... Don't worry, once I've regenerated the world, I'll use this on me, alright? Alright. Professor here. Oh! It seems I've acquired some new healing arts thanks to this horn. Now we can save Clara. No, it would be difficult to save her with only the healing arts I just learned now. What? We must develop a method that will develop these healing arts into a different form. Where are we going to find something like that? This area is said to be where healing arts are first developed. I'm sure we'll find some clues in this region. Okay, then let's have a look around the cities in this area. Wait just a little longer, Colette. I promise we'll fulfill your wish. Colette, are you sure this is what you want? Not using the unicorn horn, I mean. You're the one that went and got it. Yes. My body is becoming an angel, that's all. But you can't even eat or sleep when you want to. Are you happy with that? I think that's what it means to become an angel. That's just not right. It's just not right that you have to sacrifice yourself like this. I'm sorry. But thank you, Lloyd. Oh, she just started crying out of nowhere. So what's the synopsis say? So I guess let's go to, uh, let's go, uh, to, to the, uh, <clears throat> Take them down quickly. uh, the, ow, just kicked me in the goddamn face. Do I have Psy Tempest yet? No. Hi there. Don't get too comfortable. Against the Beatles? Oh yes. Was that a bit Yes it was, most definitely. No. Okay. Maybe that guy knows where Clara is now that we have the unicorn horn. Magically, he just knows. Maybe Clara's here. That would actually probably be kind of bad.
What's that? Looks like there's something going on in the front of the inn. Oh god. Ah. Uh, oh, it's Clara. Alright, it's weakened. Finish it off. Stop! Don't interfere. This is our prey. Clara, stop. We want to save you. Please calm down. Ah! Damn it! After that monster! Colette, Professor, are you alright? Yes. Clara, drop this. This is the key to the Tower of Mana. I see. Clara was the one that took the key to the tower. I hope she's safe. Yeah, let's go to the Tower of Men and get Boltzmann's healing technique for Clara and Pietro. Nice. Do goddesses get sick? Martel's a goddess, right? That's what they call her. Do goddesses get sick, too? I guess they do. That's silly. But look, if you think about how Colette can become an angel... Humans and angels can't be all that different. And the angels serve Martel. Hmm, I guess. I think it still sounds kind of strange for a goddess to catch a cold. Well, yeah, that's true. I didn't even realize we had that. When did we pick that up? Oh, she wasn't in the party, was she? Whoa, that's a lot better. Okay, so we can go to the Tower of Mana now. Cool. I like that. We can get that book. Cool. That's where I'm going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Oh, I can go upstairs now. What's going on up here? Come on, get up the stairs. The rooms really aren't being cleaned, you're just helping out your friend. What are you doing in here? I thought you were chasing after Clara. Alright, that's where I'm going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.